हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ एन इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो रिलेटिंग टू अमेरिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन व्हिच इज पावर एंड रोल्स ऑफ अमेरिकन सुप्रीम कोर्ट we'll discuss in this video mainly composition of american supreme court its powers and roles and in this video my viewers will get a lot of informations about american supreme court relating to its composition powers and rules i request my viewers to watch this video attentively so that important information relating to american supreme court will be in your hands let us start in american judicial system american supreme court stands at the top no institution in america has as much prestige than american supreme court has about american supreme court it is said that if american constitution will be studied without american supreme court it is equivalent to study solar system without studying the sun it means in the solar system sun has as much importance as the american supreme court has in american constitution american supreme court was established in the year 1789 and when it was established its strength was high but from 1869 the strength of american constitution increased to 9 out of 9 one chief justice and eight justices and the quorum of american supreme court is 6 and american supreme court has only one session it starts from first monday of october and it continues up to early of june and so far as judges of american supreme court they are appointed by the president they are appointed by the president but the appointments must be approved by the senate no doubt president will appoint judges but the president cannot remove them and when the president will give appointment to judges of supreme court he will not take into account their age their qualification their political backgrounds their citizenship and other backgrounds this is all about the composition of american supreme court now we'll discuss the powers of american supreme court american supreme court has mainly two powers number one is original power and number two appellate power original power of american supreme court means there are some powers which american supreme court has only other courts do not have or do not exercise that power and american supreme court has mainly two original powers its first original power is that it exercises original power in case of ambassadors consuls and public ministers number two it exercises its original power where there will be disputes between or among states this is all about the original power of 
American Supreme Court. Now we'll discuss appellate power of American Supreme Court. American Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal in the country. It is the topmost court. So as it is the topmost court, it can hear appeal again the decision of the lower courts. It means if any person will not be satisfied with the verdict or judgment of lower court, he can appeal to Supreme Court and Supreme Court will solve it. But so far the appellate jurisdiction of Supreme Court is concerned, it is the it is the Supreme Court which will decide whether it will hear the appeal against the decision of any lower court or not. So this is all about the power of the American Supreme Court. It has two power, one the original power, other one the appellate power. Now discuss roles of American Supreme Court. It is mainly five important roles. The first role is guardian of the constitution. American Supreme Court is the guardian of the constitution or it is the savior of the American constitution. It means whenever there will be any problem for the American constitution, American Supreme Court immediately comes forward to rescue it. Due to this reason, the constitution of 1787 of the days of horse and buggy days till now which is the age of aeroplane and spaceships till now this constitution is working well because the constitution is protected by the American Supreme Court it means whenever the central legislature of America Congress will make any law which will go against the constitution or any decision of the American executive will go against the constitution at the time American Supreme Court will declare that law of the Congress or that decision of the executive as invalid. So American Supreme Court protects the constitution from the American legislature and American executive. This is the role of guardian of the constitution. Number two, protector of rights. American Supreme Court protects the rights of the American citizens by issuing four writs like habeas corpus, mandamus, settlery and injunctions. Whenever freedoms or rights of American people will be in danger, immediately American Supreme Court comes forward to protect those rights by issuing four writs like habeas corpus, mandamus, settlery and injunctions. And number three, Final code of appeal. Final code of appeal means whenever in America any citizen or any institution will not be satisfied with the verdict of the lower court, they can appeal to American Supreme Court. And American Supreme Court hears appeals against the decision of state court and other lower courts and the decision of the American Supreme Court is final and against the decision of American Supreme Court a person cannot go anywhere he will have to accept the decision of the American Supreme Court because it is the topmost court of America this is the final court appeal and fourth important power of the fourth important role of the American Supreme Court it is the third chamber of legislature it acts as super legislature. It means whenever American Central Legislature or Congress will make any law and if that law will violate the Constitution, American Supreme Court will declare that law as invalid. So whenever Central Legislature of America, which is Congress, will make any law, that law is verified by the American Supreme Court whether it goes against the constitution or not. If it is not going against the con constitution, it's all right. If it will go against the constitution, Supreme Court will declare it as invalid. Finally, Supreme Court has the judicial review power. 
judicial review power means whenever American central legislature which is Congress will make any law or American executive will take any decision these are verified by the American Supreme Court whether these are going against the constitution or not if American Supreme Court will feel that any act of American central legislature Congress is going against the constitution or any decision of the American executive is going against the constitution American Supreme Court has power to declare them as null and void or ultra virus or intra virus or invalid. Here we will discuss three important cases. One is Marbury Madison case of 1803, McCullough Maryland case 1819 and Given Ogden case 1824. In the Marbury versus Madison case, American Supreme Court declared an act of then President Jefferson as invalid. So what was this case? Marbury was appointed as Justice of Peace in the District of Columbia by then President Adams on 3rd March 1801 night or on 3rd March night 1801 Marbury was appointed as Justice of Peace in the District of Columbia by President Adam. But before the appointment letter was delivered to him, the term of President Adam was over. So new President Jefferson and his Secretary of State Madison declined to give him appointment order. They pointed out that as Marbury was appointed by Adam, will not give him appointment letter. So when Marbury appealed to Supreme Court, the Chief Judge Supreme Court C.G. Marshall ordered the new President Jefferson to give appointment letter to Marbury because he was already appointed as Justice of Peace for District of Columbia. So in this case, American Supreme Court declared an act of the executive as invalid. And number two, in the Marcullo versus Maryland case, American Supreme Court declared an act of Maryland legislature as invalid. In Makula versus Maryland case, Maryland legislature decided to impose tax on the coin of United States of America. But when the case was referred to Supreme Court, the Chief Justice of American Supreme Court C.G. Marshall pointed out that the state legislature has no power to impose tax on the coin of United States of America. So, it, so American Supreme Court declared the act of New York state legislature as invalid. Finally, in Given versus Ogden case of 1824, American Supreme Court declared an act of New York state legislature as invalid. Because in the Given versus Ogden case, New York state legislature has given some exclusive power to some person to navigate on New York water by steamboat. When this case was referred to American Supreme Court, Chief Justice Marshall said that New York state legislature has no right to give some exclusive power to some person to navigate on New York water. So he declared the act of New York state legislature as invalid. So, judicial review means the power of American Supreme Court to review the act of legislature and the decision of the executive whether they are contradicting the constitution. If they will contradict the constitution, these acts or decrees or decision will be declared as invalid. Okay, viewers. So, in this view, in this video, important video we have discussed about the composition of American Supreme Court. When it was established, it was established in 789. And when it was established, its strength was five judges were there. Then from 1869, the strength of judges became nine. Until now, in the American Supreme Court, nine judges are found. Its quorum is six. And it has only one session. It starts from first Monday of October. It continues from early of June. It has two powers, original power, appeal power. 
it has five roles like guardian of the constitution, protector of rights, final court of appeal, third chamber of legislature and judicial review. So I have full faith that my viewers will get best use of this video. This video gives some detailed information about the American Supreme Court. I think it is a rare video. It will be valuable to you. And I request my viewers, if you want video on any new topic, request me through my channel. I request you to subscribe my channel so that the benefit will be of yours. Thank you viewers. Again, we'll be here with another video. Till now, goodbye to all.